Okay, so you've installed the unit, you've checked your, make sure there's no fuel leaks, nothing like that. Now it's time to actually phase the ignition. What you're going to do, and I'm using this motor for an example here, is you're going to rotate your pulley so it's at 15 degrees on the split line, just like you normally would do any Volkswagen. So if you look, I'm at 15 degrees with the split line of the case. With the pulley sitting there, you're then going to position the crank trigger sensor so it sits directly over the magnet. This particular pulley has the magnet at 45 degrees. So I position the sensor directly over it. If you need to, you can draw a little, like a little Sharpie line here and a little Sharpie line on the pulley and then just line them up basically until you get lined up. Sometimes it's hard to reach around the back of the bracket to tighten things up. So all I can do is get it in position and then go and loosen the two nuts off, take them off, take the whole bracket, and then you can tighten it. If not, you can reach around the back usually with these and with the little 3 8 little wrench and tighten it up. All right, once you got that now, so you got the sensor over the magnet, you got it at 15 degrees, you're then going to make sure the distributor is phased correctly. So what that's gonna do is with the motor, we know it's at top dead center currently on number one, is we're going to rotate the body of the distributor so that number one lines up with it. Now the easy way I always do it, is put the cap on with the number one, I'll draw a little mark on the body of the distributor, just so I know this is number one. Then what I'll do is take the distributor, rotate the body until it's, that little mark is directly in line with the rotor. Once that's done, you tighten her down and you will never touch this again. Uh, this particular one's got an ignition in it, but we're not using that. Our sensor is coming from here. This is just a, I just put it on this motor for mock-up reasons. All right, once you got that, you are all ready to fire up. Now you're gonna fire it up, put your timing light on it and verify, make sure you're at 15 degrees. If you are off, let's just say one, two degrees off on timing, then you would make a change here at the sensor. So let's say our target is 15, but you're at 20 with the timing light. So in other words, you need to retard timing. To retard timing, you move sensor down, clockwise, basically. Now you're asking, well, how much do I move? It's too hard to move this. Well, if you're off five degrees, let's say our target's 15 and we're seeing 20 with the timing light up here at the split line of the case, you then move the sensor five degrees. You use a pulley for that. Again, you can use a little Sharpie mark if you needed to, to mark it, move it, and then once it's done, wipe the mark off. Um, if you need to advance the timing, let's say it's at 15, our target's 15, but we're only seeing 10, so we need to advance it five degrees, we would move it up to advance timing. So basically all this is is to get it all in line so that when on our Phytech unit, basically we are not lying to it. We're telling it we're at 15 and we truly are at 15, basically, and this is just for the phasing of the ignition. Okay, watch the next video.